Oh, that is awesome. Shortly, we're going to be heading into the kitchen to see how to make Chef Mark's chicken balls. But now, in inspirational stories, we're joined by Mary Ansell from Star Jam and Jamma and her mum, uh, Jamma Alex, and her mum, Michelle Holmes. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Mel. It is so lovely to have you in here. I want to start with you first, Mary. Tell us a little bit about Star Jam. Why was it started and how long has it been going for? It's been going for 16 years this year. And it began with a lady called Julie Bartlett who had a brother she didn't know about who had Down syndrome. His name was Ross and she didn't discover him until he was a teenager. And then later on, quite a bit later on, she asked him to give her away at, his wed at her wedding. And he made an impromptu speech. And from that, he actually <coughs> started be to be treated differently by people. So Julie formed this platform, which is all about that. It's a, um, it's a platform for young people with mm. disabilities to be able to get up and perform and show their talents and really make a difference to themselves and other people's lives as well. What a great thing to be doing. So what are the main objectives that you're wanting young people to get out of it, out of Star Jam? Uh, there's so many. It's fun for a start. It's got to be fun. It's got to be about the jammers. So they... Um, they choose the moves, they choose the dances and so on and so forth, the songs that they're going to be singing and drumming to. And they also, um, we find it's for some of them it's friendships for the first time, total acceptance of who they are, um, self-confidence, self-belief, actually having a level playing field for themselves as well, an opportunity to, to reach their potentials just like any other young Kiwi. And opportunities to go and do those amazing performances yes, like we just saw most, a little bit of there. Most definitely. Now Alex, how long have you been a jammer for? Hmm. Seven years. Seven years. Oh, you must love it. It must be so exciting for you. You must be one of the old hands of it now. Seven years. And so what, what do you love so much about it? Mm, the dance. Is that your favourite thing? Do you sing at all as well or do you just dance? Just dance. Wow, and you're going to be doing some waltzing, I hear, too, at, uh, at the Star Jam Gala, which is coming up very soon. That is very exciting. Are you watching Dancing with the Stars? Who do you yeah. want to win? <laughs> I think you're like everybody, don't you, in all the dresses? Fair enough. <laughs> I would too. Matter. I would too. Uh, Michelle, you're Alex's mum. What have you seen Alex get out of Star Jam? Um, I think the biggest thing is her self-confidence. She um, started when she was quite young and uh, it's a, just a lovely, relaxing environment for the kids to go into. She loves her music. So confidence, the ability to get up and perform on her own. Um, she's also participated in um, school productions and got up and danced, which she wouldn't have done had she not had that confidence. And there's workshops as well, isn't there? Yeah. So what are, what, what are the workshops all about? Um, the workshops is about 10 children in Alex's workshops and they go along and they practice different routines. Um, they've got fabulous tutors and volunteers in there that get the kids all up participating and parents can go in and join in at the end. Um, kids have a spot the talent segment at the end where they're encouraged to bring their own music and put their own dance moves um, and they give each other a lot of feedback and encouragement at the end which is really really cool. I mean Alex ah. spends a lot of time telling me about what the other kids were doing at Star Jam as well. That's so, cool, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Actually Mary you can probably tell me a little bit more about those sure. workshops, so what is involved with them? We have 43 of them around the country wow. at the moment, so that's 450 young people each week. They're held um, Monday to Thursday evenings from 6.30 to 8. They're in singing, dancing or drumming and some guitar workshops slash bands. They, um, the children in them are 6 to 25. They have any disability you can think of, but we don't, we don't actually ask because yes. we don't need to know. Because it's not about that, it's about their possibilities and their abilities. And we put on performances, gigs. Um, we've done things like Attitude Awards, we were on them last year. Just our whole other aspect to us is helping everyday people understand that um, just because of disability, is there it doesn't define you it mm. doesn't say you can't do certain things it, it just means that there are some things that you're better at than others and I can't get up and sing in front of a, of a large crowd and you wouldn't want me to or <laughs> dance as well so these young jammers do all of that and um, they're inspirational oh, I couldn't do that either oh, I really couldn't do that Alex you must have made a whole lot of friends doing this it yeah must, yeah yeah 
Um, and uh, you're going to be dancing with your brother, I hear, as well, at this gala. That'll be so exciting. Must be proud for you too. I'm very proud. To see <laughs> your babies out there exactly. doing their thing. and they dance so much better than I do. Oh, you need to get Alex to teach you, Michelle. Yeah, probably. How it all works. <laughs> uh, if people want to get involved either with uh, joining a local workshop or supporting Star Jam, Mary, what do they need to do? How do they go about doing that? Well, it's mary at starjam.org for any questions, anybody who wants to be in touch. We're always looking for volunteers for our workshops. Um, they don't have to be good at anything other than have a lot of passion mm. and um, want to have a good laugh and a good time. Um, donations are always greatly received. We're not government funded. So again, on our website, starjam.org, or if there's a corporate out there who is looking for an organisation that is fun, lively, and they want to tick this corporate social responsibility box, I'd love to talk to them. And how would you like to see Star Jam grow in the future? Oh, well, we've gone from um, 40 young jammers to 450 in the years, and I get phone calls every week when you come into this region, when you come into that region. So for me, it's the ability to grow and mm -hmm. take it to more people out there. Global domination. Mary, yeah. Alex, Michelle, thank you all so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us.